Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in on this World Hunger Day. And in fact, as part of our efforts to address extreme hunger here in South Africa, the hashtag one million plus one meal campaign with Rise Against Hunger is now building some serious momentum. Thanks to you guys with 90,000 meals already packed. We've only just begun, but we're already close to surpassing, surpassing last year's total meal pack of 100,000. And it's all on you. So thank you so much. So here are some highlights from an awesome meal pack from this last weekend. Today we are shifting gears to pack the next 40,000 meals in our partnership. Hashtag one million plus one meals with Rise Against Hunger. Today Somerset Mall is going to, has already come alive with some furious packing, lots of laughter, a lot of love, some amazing performances from our ambassadors as we endeavor to pack the next 40,000 meals that'll be going into the bellies of some very deserving young children that would have otherwise gone without. Today, I am so proud. I've got two of our amazing packers here, Celeste and young Michael, who is a superhero today, absolutely crushing it, working, I think he's the most furious worker on this entire line. Um, and another box has been packed. Whoop, whoop. Um, Celeste, why have you come here today and why have you brought Michael? First of all, Michael's a very busy guy and he, uh, he loves being involved in things and it's important that we keep him, uh, give back. It's important that we teach him to give back. So yeah, because he's busy, it takes time of, out of my schedule at home to go and pick up things. And I think it's a great initiative to be here and to give back because the need is great out there, Graham. It's huge. So it's a privilege for us to be here. In the past, I never used to have time to do something like this, but somehow it is such an amazing feeling to stand here today and being able to do something for a less fortunate person, and it's a great feeling. This entire campaign would fall down if we didn't have those willing to sponsor the meals, to sponsor the space to host these activations, to inspire their shoppers to get on board and come and volunteer. And I would imagine right now, Mandy, you are feeling incredibly proud looking at your shoppers filling the rows right here. How are you feeling now that this has actually started and we have got so many volunteers coming out? There's so much energy in the food court. We are loving it. The fact is everyone's doing it with love and passion. Um, and that's what makes the difference. You know, you need to give back. The mall has been operating for 26 years in the Helderberg area. The fact that we are giving all these meals to the children in this particular Helderberg area is also what anchors it even further. It's wholesome, it's beautiful, 40,000 meals, no mean feat, and we are well on our way already. Um, as we work towards one million plus one meals, and we will continue to look at that plus one at the next child that we have to feed until every little belly is full. But as the bell sounds, I'm gonna say, get back to work, Randy. You got some packing to do, well done. <laughs> Why have you made this? Why is it one of the pillars of the way that you live your life, bud? Wow, for me it's just important to be part of development and, and making sure that our kids and young adults understand that there is a place for them. It's important for me to show kids and young adults that they can be whatever they want to be. You know, sometimes they just don't have that positive voice coming to them saying, you know what, I see you, I believe in what you want to become. And that's why I've been traveling around the Western Cape to, to ensure that the message lands, you know, that they are counted, that they are valued, and that we have a space here in South Africa, despite where you come from, what you don't have. You know, if you've got a mind and you've your ears filled with lungs every day, there's an opportunity to affect or be affected. As we start putting the last few meals in the boxes, 40,000 done and dusted. I am so proud. Well done, Somerset Mall. It's unbelievable. Hopefully this has also restored your faith in your fellow man. Firstly, that there are organizations and places like this willing to set aside their time, work tirelessly towards feeding South Africa's most vulnerable children, but moreover that just everyday people were willing to set aside whatever they were meant to be doing today to make these children their first priority. In fact, I'm starting to actually believe that we might be able to, as a nation, eradicate extreme hunger. In fact, can we do it? Yeah! 